today, we are honoring National Day of Awareness for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls that's recognized every year on May 5th. Our friend and artist Brent Billingsley is out with a new piece to honor that group, and he joins me now with the head of the Urban Collective, Brianna Mazzolini Blanchard, who is the subject of this artwork. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Absolutely. Good morning. We want to first talk about this huge portrait that you, you both have collaborated on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brent, Brianna, please talk to me about what this, this is you, Brianna, yeah. and, and these are the, what, talk about the yes. color. Literally, literally. It's literally her, her guys, and her. it's, it's phenomenal. Her. Talk about sure. what this is to us. Yeah, of course. So it's such an honor to be the subject of this piece. Brent and I, we actually went to university together and then yeah. caught up in our adult life as, as artists. And um, Brent came to us with this phenomenal project idea idea to yeah. amplify the missing and murdered indigenous women and, and relatives crisis that mm. exists within the United States yeah. and yeah. also Canada. Yeah. And so um, we collaborated on this representation to highlight this epidemic that exists within our country and yeah. Canada. And I would be remiss not to mention that this epidemic also includes our island relatives, our island relations of Hawaii and Guam as well. Yeah. And um, so so, you know, Brent, uh, the amazing artist that he is, he is, collaborated with our organization, yeah. the Urban Native Collective, to, to make this piece of art a reality. Yeah. Yes. Talk about, like, why the colors? Mm. Red, yeah. black, white, and then the hands. Sure. Um, so Brent uh, was able to capture thousands of handprints to represent the thousand over, uh, over 12,000 yes wow. over 12,000 handprints yeah. and each handprint represents a missing or murdered indigenous woman yeah. or relative so each handprint is a missing brother or sister within our community wow. and and red is such an important sacred color within the indigenous community um, that it is the color that we wear to represent this crisis and to bring awareness and show yeah. advocacy, determination, and resilience within our Native communities. I, and you have indigenous ties, Brianna. Yes, Talk I do. What are the emotions b behind this for you? Mm. Um, so this piece is not only a, a beautiful collaboration yes. with Brent and our organization, um, but, but for me, you know, and I reflect on this piece, I think about my mother and my grandmother mm. who faced violence mm. within their lifetime and are thankfully were able to live, live out their lives. You know, they were not victims um, to this, but, um, you know, Native women face murder rates 10 times higher than the national average, mm -hmm. and an 84% of Native women will experience violence in their lifetime, and my mother and my grandmother were two of those women, two wow. of those statistics, mm -hmm. and wow. this painting not only highlights that, but highlights the resilience, like we are still here and we yeah. are striving and, th and surviving. Right. And as an indigenous community, our yeah. organization is in the greater Cincinnati area and we are a beautiful community of native people Absolutely. joining wow. together. Yeah. Wow, and I also wanna add to that, the VA says of near 6,000 missing native mm -hmm. women and girls are reported in the US, but only 116 were included in the Department of Justice database. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? It is ridiculous yeah. that the data is so skewed and it requires not only statewide but federal legislation, le excuse me, legislative yeah. changes um, within our federal government. And, and there are acts and there is legislation that is trying to be pushed forward to um, change this so that we can capture accurate data so that yeah. our women, so that we know who our women and relatives are that are missing. And unfortunately, the data is just so incredibly skewed and, and underreported massively. Wow, wow. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. Britt, tell us where we can we can see this portrait again around town. So this will be, this belongs to them. Okay. So yeah. what we did was, as an artist, I'm an artist at Residential Freedom Center. So they asked me to do a piece last year. Mm. And I says, I will if you let me bring in the culture that it, that it reflects. Right. So, Carl Brianna, she jumped on board, yeah. and we came up with this composition. And then, so first thing we did was we got 12,000 handprints on four canvases. So that was first. And then we put the, the imagery on top of the handprints. This is just one, there's gonna be three more of these. Mm. So this is gonna be like an installment. So um, this will be at their 
place of business mm-hmm. and on the north side. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Native collective. Yes. Native collective. So to be able to be there, but yeah. we are shooting for a a larger installation wow. at the Freedom Center the eventually. Oh, that'll be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Brianna, thank you so much. And yeah, Brett, of course, you. always having you. We will be right Absolutely. back. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.